Hey YouTube, it is me, Natalie, and today I am going to be showing you guys how I get my blonde curly hair and I will be dyeing it today. Um, today we're going to do a little different, it's going to be more of a vlog style, as you can see I'm up and moving, um, and look, look how much my hair has grown out, I mean you can see some of the blonde right there, I literally have... <laughs> Two Felicia braids in. I mean, looking real dusty. But um, this is usually how I go to my hair appointments. I wash my hair the day before I deep condition it. And when I get out the shower, I do not put any product in my hair and I just slap in two braids because I go to my hair appointments with no product in my hair because I'm going to be getting it dyed. And so you don't want anything in your hair affecting the dye or whatever the case is. So this is what I look like, getting ready to go. And yeah, let's have fun. I'm gonna walk you guys through how I get my blonde curly hair. So this is where, oh, get my hair done. Look how cute. Super cute. This is where the magic happens. So I took my hair out of the braids. A better look on how grown out my hair is. Today, I want to be blonde blonde. I kind of want to go back to how like, I used to be blonde. Okay. Let's see. Um, this is like an old picture I have. Um, So that was after a few times. I know. So we can build up. Like, huh? We have to build up. I think so. Okay. It would be better to do it that way, but I can do like a little bit more. Okay. Today. So I used to be a lot more blonde, you guys, and then I actually went back brown. And then I went back to blonde. <laughs> but when I went back to blonde, I wasn't as blonde as I used to be. So I kind of want to go back to being super blonde again, but it's always a build up. You don't want to do it all at once because then you'll just ruin yes. and break your hair off. Correct. Really, what concoction are you making over there? Uh, I'm mixing the bleach right now. Wow. <laughs> Natalie, your hair looks so short. Because I cut it. But you didn't cut it a lot. I shaped it and stuff. Since the last time I've gotten my hair dyed, I've cut it twice. Oh. So I've gradually just been wanting it shorter and shorter, I feel like, because it just gives me more of a shape that I want. Mm. So Julie, what's Olaplex? Olaplex is... Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't know I had to be the star in this video, okay? Um, Olaplex is a bond multiplier. So um, things that break the bonds in your hair is like bleach, color, heat damage, sun damage, um, brushing your hair too hard, all that. And Olaplex just helps to prevent that, so it kind of counteracts what bleach would do. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's like insurance for your hair, is what they say. Yes. And ever since I've been getting my hair dyed, she's always used Olaplex. Yeah, actually when you first started getting your hair done, Olaplex had like, it just came out. Mm -hmm. Dang, so, really? Mm -hmm. So I've been getting my hair done for what, like maybe, since the old place, so like five, six, six years now. 
Mm -hmm. Six years. Remember, it's a process. It's never all at once because then that's just how you ruin your hair. And I never... So here's a little story for you guys. I tried to dye my own hair once. And I put this like burgundy hair, uh, dye in it and it literally turned my hair green. <laughs> it turned your hair green? It turned my hair green. And so I had to come back to Julie to like save me. So moral of the story is I just do not play. Oh, I remember color. that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. When it comes to dye and color, I just get it professional done. Don't be cheap. Especially, especially when going blonde. <laughs> yes. Pay the price. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start in the back because the back is the darkest because it doesn't see the light of day. <laughs> My hair looks that shorter. Huh? My hair looks that much shorter. It mm -hmm. kind of does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. going lighter is like trying to come in a little more often just mm -hmm. because when you have like those long roots plus wanting to go lighter it's a little bit harder yeah and just for everyone watching the only reason why it's taking me so long to come back was because of covid <laughs> yes but other than that i usually would come like every probably like four months yeah and then also, well, I feel like after you moved, you didn't come for a while. So it dark. Yes. You did? Yeah, so one of the reasons why I did go dark was because I was moving. And I just was bored through the face. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't remember your hair being dark. Don't? Mm -mm. Do you remember when my hair was burgundy? I remember when it was like green. Yeah. It was kind of burgundy. I think the burgundy was like. Washing out. Yeah. That was when I was like just playing with colors and stuff. So why why can your hair turn green? Yeah, it's so weird. It's because of the burgundy. So burgundy is purple and like red, right? and then purple has blue in it mm -hmm. so what happened was the red rinsed out and the blue was left and then the yellow that was in your hair like this yellow mm -hmm. plus blue is what made your hair green damn yeah because red fades out pretty fast so yep, we're left my green. <laughs> that was actually the first time i actually saw that because usually I feel like it would turn people's hair like orange uh -huh. but you must have had it must have had a lot of purple in it like it must not have been a super red burgundy yeah at the base it kind of was more of like a pinkish yeah because when it was fading out it it faded to like kind of like a light purple I feel like and then it went to like a pink mm -hmm. I think it's just, I don't know it was from L'Oreal, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
You just like painting. <laughs> and this is a balayage, right? Kind of. So this is like highlights, but it's more of like a blended highlight. Just because it gives more control mm -hmm. over your hair. I think I've been doing this on you for the last like few times. So what's the difference between this and a balayage? So balayage is like the technique. Um, balayage is like hand painted. Mm -hmm. That's like what I did on you like the first few times you came to me. But then as you got lighter and lighter, it just made more sense to do highlights. But you can still create like a balayage look by doing highlights. Mm -hmm. It just, you can lift, you can lift more if you actually do highlights. Okay. You have more control over it. But I'm like, I just tease the top a little bit so that everything blends and then you blend it more with the toner okay. at the end. There's levels to this. Yes. <laughs> we have moved on to the side. There's Olivia in the back. <laughs> We are now at the top of the head. Almost done. Yeah. And you said you used the 20 developer? 20 volume, yeah. Oh, 20 volume. 6%. For all of you out there who know what that means. Because <laughs> <laughs> some people use like 40 develop developer and right? Yeah, this stuff? 20 is the highest I would go, especially for curly hair. It's better if it if you leave it longer and use a lower developer. Mm. Good to know. Especially because it takes so long. Mm -hmm. So like your back oils are probably, that's a great angle that you have. Here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your back oils are probably done already, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, would it like dry out your hair if you do a higher one? Um, yeah, it's super damaging if you do it too high. What's the highest developer there is? Well, they have like 100, 100 volumes, Whoa. but um, you don't, most people don't use that. What would you even use that for? Some people use it like they put like a splash of it like into 40 volume and they use it like for balayage for it to lift more because balayage doesn't, because it's not in foil, it doesn't lift very well. Oh. So it's like, but it's super hard to control. It's more like, it's more volatile, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. So you just, you use a, a less developer? Mm-hmm. And then let it sit for longer. Yes. And especially with curly hair. Yes, and then if you remix, if you remix the bowl, it's like more fresh, mm -hmm. so it processes more evenly. But when I'm done applying like all your highlights, I'm gonna go in and take out any foils that are done already mm -hmm. and just like wipe them off so they don't over process. And yeah. With curly hair, you have to be extra careful because you can ruin the curl pattern. So even if you can, like with, with straight hair or wavy hair, like you can push things a little bit further because you're styling it so the natural texture isn't as important. Uh -huh. So like with curly hair, your hair might not be like damaged, 
but you could still ruin the curl pattern without damaging it. Yes. So, that's what you have to be Yep. For all you curly girls out there, be careful. <laughs> Die at your own risk. <laughs> yes. But that's why we use Olaplex. We do treatment, so we'll do a treatment after this too. Mm -hmm. Look, I look crazy with this, <laughs> with these foils and then the mask. At least you don't have one of these t-shirts. <laughs> And now, Julie's taking out the back foils. What are these called? Back foils? Foils? Back Oh, I thought you guys were saying boils. I was like, <laughs> what? this is a fancy name. What? Boils? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. So this is probably the lightest piece, just because none of her hair is going to be sitting for that long. But I try to do it like around the hairline first so that everything looks like even. You want the hairline to be the lightest mm -hmm. because that's what the sun would do naturally. And I just like wipe it and just let it air dry because it'll stop processing. These pieces are super light. My hair lifted now, Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Your hair always does for the most part, except for like when we were first starting. Trying to get that um green out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do notice that curly texture, it lifts like frizzier texture it lifts easier than like straight coarse hair, like Asian hair kind of. Mm-hmm because the cuticle in a sense is like all already open mm -hmm. versus like straight silky hair. It's harder to get through. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so we started, started dying. I feel like this took like an hour and a half all together. Yeah. Actually putting like the bleach in and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think this is probably a little longer than what it normally takes because you want it to go a little lighter. Plus your roots are really grown out. So normally I don't think it would take me that long to apply. Maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. But start to finish should probably be about three hours. Because I got a big ass head or whatever. Are you, you're only taking out the back ones? Well, I'm not taking take the front because the hair is more fragile in the front. And it usually works faster. This is the least fun part. And then the shampoo is the fun part. So that could use a little more time. More time on the clock. <laughs> Are you gonna go on this side? Yeah, I'm gonna check it. The hairline is more fragile, so you don't wanna lift it too light. Yeah, that one looks done. You did this side first, didn't you? Yeah. So when it's like that shade is the perfect, perfect time to pull because it's like a light yellow. Mm -hmm. And the toner will kind of, um, you have more control over what you want the toner to look like. So that's like the piece I feel like a lot of people might miss is the toning aspect of it, mm -hmm. right? They just feel like, oh, I need to bleach it and get it super light, not yeah. realizing that the toner. The toner is everything. Yeah. It's literally. It's the color you want. Yeah, it's the color. So 
there's a lot of times that people think that they don't need it or maybe they can just go without but you need it if you're bleaching your hair you need it period, period. because the bleach is just what exposes the underlying like tone right. of the hair it's not actually giving you a color so, I mean, even though this is really nice, if you had previously colored hair, it wouldn't lift this way. Yeah. It would lift like orange or brassy. Mm -hmm. So we'd have to have to use a toner. But the thing, the thing that does like in a way like kind of suck about it is that some people really like the brightness that their hair is like when it's not toned. Mm -hmm. And you can't really mimic that if you tone it. Okay. But I feel like if you don't tone it, you're always having to push the hair to that perfect level of lightness, and you're just going to cause more damage. This is more bleach. Mm -hmm. You're both all up in your face. <laughs> so, that one needs more time. Can you tell because it's kind of like dark around the yeah. side so this color it's a little more orange mm -hmm. than this yeah it's hard to tell but this needs a little bit more so now it's just a waiting game yeah. tick tock tick tock <laughs> <laughs> okay this is like 10 minutes later i'm just taking on a few more foils just checking out a few more. Let's see it. How they're looking back there? Great. Let's come up to the other side. <laughs> just taking out the back. Take the whole back. But my sides are still staying in. A little longer. Just a little bit longer. We started at 4. So my appointment started. And it's 6.46 right now. So this is what happens when you take forever. Because quarantine. <laughs> and you don't come back for a bunch of months. The waiting time is a lot longer. It's still not that bad though, because once we rinse and like do the toner, mm -hmm. it's probably about an hour. So this is just the hardest part. <laughs> this is the part that scares everyone. Why? Because it's like before the toner, it looks Super oh. like stripey. Mm hmm. And it's like you just gotta trust the process. Trust the process. That's what I tell myself when I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> exactly. One's not done yet. We're almost. That looks good. So these I'm not really wiping off because I don't think the sides are going to be on that much longer. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of just going to let them sit like that. Taking the foil out. That's it. So, wait. Oh, yeah, that is it. All the foils are out. And now I'm gonna wash. <laughs> Olivia. Come on, camera lady. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I can't see. What are I paying for? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so crazy how it looks blue. Okay. Would you rather put your legs down because you're tall? Let me see. Oh, 
it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm putting Olaplex number two. The first step was in the bleach. And then this is kind of the second step to seal it all in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then they also have like other steps that you can take home, like shampoo and conditioner treatments, leave-ins. It smells good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I love all their products. Where can you find these products? <laughs> um, you can try to think like where they sell them. I believe they sell it at Sephora, um, but preferably you should get it from your local hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Support small businesses. And all her information will be in the description <laughs> box. <laughs> so I'm just going to comb this through a little bit. Especially because I teased her hair a bit. So whichever didn't just naturally fall out. But you can see how it already blends like when I brush it out. This is with no toner. Because I'm just that good. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's just that but this technique, like for highlighting, is not something I would necessarily do for someone who had curly hair but sometimes wore their hair straight. If you wanted something like that, like you would have to kind of cater to the straight style. Mm -hmm. Because with curly hair, like you have to always keep in mind that it's gonna lay differently every single day. So if you wear your hair straight, it kind of lays wherever it goes. And so you need to like be aware of that mm -hmm. when doing the color as well. So you have to you have to make sure your stylist knows how you wear your hair. Yes, because I do not straighten my hair at all. Yeah, but then like Olivia sometimes does. Sometimes <laughs> wears it curly, which none of that's bad or good. It's just if Perfect. you don't color your hair the way you're gonna wear it, then it's not gonna be it's not gonna come out right. Facts. Well, this is the toner, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's the toner. And is there like levels to toners or like how does that work? Yeah, so toners have all the same levels as like color um, would. Mm -hmm. So like blondes would be like level 9, 10, 8. It's like a darker blonde. I always like to mix 9 and 8. We're doing a nine and an eight on my hair. Yeah, like a nine B and like a little bit of eight neutral. Mm. I'm a star. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I got eight up out there. Where'd you go? Oh. Oh. I don't know. I meant where'd you go? Mm -hmm. My head character was like, oh, did you fall here too? And I was like, um, maybe. <laughs> I look like a battered woman. And that smells good. That smells good. 
The toner does? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the toner smells good. I think I told you that last time. Really? Didn't I? How's your hair doing? Yeah. I need to buy more Olaplex toner. How long do you let it sit with the toner? Um, I usually just eyeball it, but anywhere from like five to ten minutes. Alright. <laughs> what are we doing? Lincey out my toner. Lincey out my toner. Do you guys see the difference? <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy. You can? <laughs> yes. You need toner. For sure. Okay, <laughs> so the rinsing is done. Now we're going to put in Multi <laughs> Cultural we'll Girls and Jelly Soft Girls. Stop giggling, damn it. <laughs> and this is the products that, um, they're gonna be raked in my hair, put in, and then we diffuse it, and then yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so I'm just. Did you really fall down? When you Girl, were yeah, we were playing hide and seek in the, in the air. I got it off again. <laughs> Did you throw it? <laughs> no. Probably his mom was here. She Showing you the movement. Look at these curls. Look at this color. I mean, my goodness, honey. All right, you guys. So here I am. This is the day after yesterday that I just was getting my hair done. And I wanted to show you guys the final result the following day so basically day two because i don't like day one hair no matter what the case is so basically what happened was the last thing you guys saw i was getting my hair diffused and dried so i didn't record it because basically all i did was pay her and then i left i didn't pick it out i didn't style it i usually like to wait i usually like to sleep on it with my bonnet and then the next day put some argan oil on my hand, pick it out, separate the curls. And so this is the day after. And I wanna show you guys the final result of the color. As you guys can see that the blonde is all the way through. I don't have those dark roots that come out super, super far. Um, my hair is not brassy, it's toned. So let me show you guys the back. Dying my hair did not kill it. I still have my curls intact it still has movement it doesn't feel dry brittle um yeah the curls are st still there i love it and basically that was my overall process that i've been doing for the past five six years to get my blonde curly hair um throughout the years my blonde has fluctuated i've been more blonde in the past I've gone to brown, I've gone to just kind of like pops of blonde, but now as you guys can see I'm kind of going back into my more blonde stage as you can, as you would say. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love it. I love the way it came out. Um, I love the way the blonde looks. So let me know what you guys think. If you have, have any questions, I will put all of Julie's information in the description box below so if you were a person in LA and you want to check her out or hit her up for a consultation and you know if you're thinking about going blonde or whatever the case is or whatever just color in general she's awesome she's a great colorist she knows what she's talking about she's know what she's doing and most of all she knows how to work with the curly hair you know as you guys heard before she just not is going in trying to just get me all the way blonde the way I want it's she will tell you like no this needs to happen she'll let you know if it's a good idea bad idea she's not just there for the money she's actually there to make sure that your hair is healthy and you look good and you feel good so let me know what you guys think if you want to see more videos like this or if you like the vlog style or if you just have more questions about you know hair in general or my hair or whatever the case is um comment below and i hope you guys like it bye guys <laughs>